This is David Moss with BIC Trikes. Today we're going to show off a 2021 125 Honda Super Cub. And these are clutchless, four speed, little 125cc uh, bikes. It's the first one I've done. Uh, really proud of it. Came out looking really nice. Runs really good. Um, and as you can see, we built the brackets. So they built right into that. You unbolt it right there. They had it powder coated black. Uh, they ordered the standard black rims and tires. These are ours that we offer and they have a cap over them so you don't see any bolts or anything. Um, you also notice that it has a carrier on the back and this here is called a steady roller carrier. And the lady that invented this, that patented the design I talked to, uh, the gentleman needed some way of carrying his walker. He's an older gentleman. He's like, man, I need to be able to take my walker everywhere I go. I did research. I found this company, talked to them directly. They actually sell these on Amazon. They run about $349 plus tax. Uh, for me, if I'd have bought it off of Amazon, it'd have been $372 shipped to my house because I got Amazon Prime. Uh, we are now a dealer of these steady roller carriers. So if anybody needs one, um, and we're talking about for put on your bike and getting the rear and done, then we can supply this for you and we do it at a discounted price because what we do is we add our reese hitch that makes it work. So we just simply added a reese hitch, slide this on, slide it off. Does it take up any space? Looks pretty nice. It does really well. I took this thing out. This actually only had two miles when it came to me. And she's got 23 on it now. So I, once I got the track we're in, I want to make sure that she's not going to have no problems with the carrier. Does great. Not going to have problems with the bike we're in. So we'll just roll it around and put about 20 miles on it and runs out really nice. Uh, looks really good. Uh, really, it's kind of a nifty little bike. Makes me almost want to have one for my wife. Um, I don't know. But nevertheless, uh, nice little bike. And this is the Super Cub. And... Uh, like I said, there's nothing we can't do. This just basically proves that no matter what the bike is, no matter what size it is, there's nothing we can't do. It only adds five pounds resistance weight, so it pulls about the same. I only lost a couple miles. I took it out before we put it on there and got it up to speed, and I think I lost maybe three miles an hour, but it's breaking in. It only had two miles, so it'll most likely uh, catch up back up to the, to the normal speed it was doing. And also to let people know if you have a Honda, he was going to have the fenders painted to match and then realize that the paint cost outrageous. It was like $400 just for the paint. So it was going to be $150 to $200 more. And he decided, well, and it was going to be two to three more weeks. So he's waiting on it. And he's like, nah, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and put the black fenders on. I'm sure it's going to look good. I think it looks pretty good. It matches all the black stuff plus the black rims. But like I said, really nice looking bike really proud of it uh probably gonna do another video of us um doing some work on it uh we wired it up for tail lights was was interesting because you gotta take all the plastic off to get to the wiring uh on the back end but nevertheless uh really really interesting bike had fun doing it uh appreciate the gentleman for trusting me first time we ever did it one um and you know came up pretty good so we'll probably put a video link out or video out showing us uh, in process and how we came up with this. Um, so if you like the video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Also, if you want to go on our website, bictrikes.com, that's where our price list is. You can see what this stuff runs. Um, this plus tax. So this one here, like I said, he got a Reese hitch done on it. He got the powder coat. He had the standard rims and tires. You know, he got it set up pretty nicely. He got the tail lights, and uh, you just simply add that all together, and then add seven percent tax, and that's how much it end up being. Um, you know, so go that check that out. Check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. We appreciate you watching this. Uh, this is David Moss with BIC Trikes. BIC Trikes stands for Brothers in Christ, where Jesus Christ gets all the glory. Thank you so much, and God bless.